Hey y'all, it's Stacy. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I organize underneath my uh, master bathroom cabinets and drawers as well. So yeah, I'm actually about to take a bubble bath. <laughs> I did not just do this for looks. I mean, I'm literally about to jump into the tub, but isn't it pretty? Then I've just got my I keep um, the bubble baths that I'm using currently, um, just like three, well, shower gels on one side and bubble baths on the other. And then just some face wash and a razor and my soap. That way, you know, I have everything I need um, on my tub um, to take a bath with and it looks all neat. Okay, so yeah, I, I don't know. That's cool that I could show y'all, I guess, kind of like a what's in my tub thing as well. Um, I'll go ahead and show you my countertop. I didn't plan on showing you this, but why not? Um, so as for countertops, I do not like clutter. I do not like the things that I use to be on top of the counter. I like it to be just kind of nice, neat, um, mostly just decorations. Of uh, Now this is um, actually a candle holder, my friend sent my friend Jamie sent to me and it was a candle plate and I actually use it to put my everyday jewelry on so I can just kind of toss it there um and then I actually have a candle I bought it green specifically to match um the bathroom and then of course you know we each have our own hand soaps and then we each have our favorite cologne or perfume this is his side and then I just have my decorative candles and that's just for decoration and then toothpaste and toothbrush. And then that's just for looks. Um, and then toothbrush. Um, my husband has an extra toothbrush. I don't know why, but whatever. And that's the perfume that I wear um, every day. It's Jessica Simpson's Fancy. It was her first one. So I'll leave it there instead of just leaving it with my perfume collection. And then, of course, I have my own hand soap, too. And then this is just... A little ring holder that I put my wedding rings on and just a pair of studs that I wear um, regularly so yeah that's all that I leave on the countertop now those we use those hint tails but that one you know just for looks so that is all I leave on the countertop it makes it nicer neater and easier to clean in my opinion so yeah okay so let's just go ahead and get started here um, and I'll show you underneath our cabinets. Uh-oh, turn the, let's see if I can get down lower and if I need a light. Okay, so here is just an overview of up under the sink. And yes, these are feminine products. I am a woman, so I do have feminine products in her here. So guys, I apologize. Okay, so let's just start over here. Um, in the front, I leave the Bath and Body Works things that I am currently using. Um, I have three lotions, three sprays, and three bubble baths. Um, and I just, I leave those there. That way they're tucked out of the way. Um, and they're separate from my the rest of the collection because these are the only ones I'm currently using and I don't need all of them under here because that's just a lot of clutter and they're just real easy to grab. Now back here in this basket, this basket actually was a gift for my mother-in-law. It was um, my birthday present. It had a bunch of things inside of it, but I actually saw these at Target. Now in my opinion, they're a little bit on the pricey side. I think this was around 10 to $15. However, it is a large, large size container. It's very pretty. It's got the fabric. You could do, you know, this same thing with something like this, which I got from the Dollar uh, Tree for $1, obviously, because it was from the Dollar Tree. So in here, I keep the all of, like, my hair products and skincare products and things like that that um, I don't use on an everyday basis. And I... The way I organize this is I put the things that I use the most towards the front. And I've also got my puppy's um, shampoo under here as well. So I've got my hairspray, my nail draw, 
my Saint-Tropez self-tanning mousse, Velcro rollers, um, lots of nail polish remover, um, puppy shampoo, puppy shampoo, baby powder, because I use that um, to soak up oil in my hair if I'm out of dry shampoo. And then my face masks, my um, apricot face scrub, bedhead after party, um, you know, just kind of things that I use, but not all the time. And then next to it, I just have my husband's, um, um, it's like a, what is that called? It's like a shaving kit, not shaving, uh, cut your hair. It's like a hair kit kind of thing. So I just tuck that right there. Then back here, now this mitt goes with the Saint Tropez. It's how you apply it, the tanning mousse. So I have to leave it just like this facing upward because it'll get stuff on it. And yes, I do wash it, but it's stained. So we'll just tuck that out of the way. Then back here is our kind of like our um, boo-boo, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, caddy. And as you can see, this is a large, I'd say a medium-sized basket. It was one dollar. And actually has a handle you can pull up um, on one of the sides. And they had different colors. And I just chose blue. We've got our band-aids, our alcohol. We've got, you know, the calamine lotion. Um, you know, galls, like just, you know, just things like that. And then right here, and then next to it, I have my neti pot for my sinuses. And then in this little bit, I also got from the dollar store, I keep all of my neti pot um, sinus rinses. So that way, you know, they just stay nice and organized. And here, I've had this basket forever. I cannot tell you where I got it because I do not know. But it has all of my feminine supplies. Um, that way, you know, you can just reach in and grab them. It's just very convenient. Um, and then, like I said, I just store this right on top so it doesn't touch anything. Then I just have my handheld mirror in case I need to see the back of my hair. Um, and this little thing, I also got this from the Dollar Tree. It's just a little tray. I've got all of our bar soaps and then my pocket bags because they're basically, you know, soap. You know, they're just, they're cleaning, you know, cleaning things. So I keep all those together. Then up here, I keep all of my nail and foot um, care tools in here so that if I'm doing a pedicure or a manicure, I can just grab this and go. And then I want to show you all this just to give you an idea of how you can store your nail polishes. And another thing is, by having things in these little containers, it's so much easier to just, you know, pick up the whole thing, you know. Um, it just makes life a lot simpler. So, yeah, I bought this container at Target. It was $2.86. And, and it's perfect for my nail polish collection. Um, now obviously, if it grows or when it grows, you know, I might have to get another one, but for now, it's perfect. And I have them, you can't tell, but I have them grouped um, in colors, just because I found that's the easiest way to do it. But, you know, as the same with this, if I'm doing a pedicure or manicure, I can just grab this, Put this on top, these on top, and just go to wherever I'm going to do my um, mini petty. So yeah, that is very, very nice and convenient. And you know, as I've explained, a lot of this stuff is very inexpensive. Um, it's just a matter of just putting things in, you know, little groups and stuff and organizing them. Okay, then under this, um, cabinet um we don't have a linen closet so we just use this for towels towels washcloths i've got a load in the wash that's why there's not very many and then right here or back here is where i keep my toilet and countertop cleaner and i have this to rinse foxy off when she's being bathed um toilet cleaner scrubbing bubbles paper towels and then Back here, I keep things, um, just, you know, like two things. One's a big scrub. This is a long-handled thing to clean windows with, and that's yellow thing is what goes on the squeegee. So, 
yeah, I just kind of keep that tucked back there um, because I don't use those, you know, all the time or whatever. So that is how that looks. And also if you're married or you live with someone else, it makes life a whole lot easier for them if things are organized because, you know, they don't have to wonder where everything is. They, you know, they know. So, okay, and I'll show you these three drawers. This top drawer is the most used drawer. We just keep the things that we use in the mornings. Um, you know, our Q-tips, which these you can get at Walmart. I think like three for a dollar. They have all different sizes. I always keep a backup of toothpaste. Um, my husband's cologne, our mouthwash, just some makeup removers. I keep one in here as well as one on my vanity because, you know, if I'm in here taking a bath at night or whatever, or a shower, it's just easy to grab one from there. And then here I just have our deodorants and his body splash. Um, and then in this little thing, I just kind of, it's a little bit of miscellaneous, but it's things that I use in this drawer, like razors, dental floss, extra blades, a tape measure, because um, I'm currently on a weight loss journey. I've lost 40 pounds so far, so I do take my measurements. So yeah, that's the top drawer, the most used. And this next one doesn't really have anything in it. Um, it just has my brushes and a diffuser, because I do have naturally curly hair, so sometimes I will wear it curly and use the diffuser. Now, um, I do use this stuff to line my drawers because it just makes it so much cleaner and it makes things to where they do not slide, which is a big pet peeve of mine. Um, so I don't know if you noticed, but this one has it as well. Um, most of my drawers do and the ones that don't, I'm slowly working on adding that in. Now it's not over here and the reason for that is because I had a long thing container that went right there um, that covered it up and I just now switched my brushes out so yeah um, and you can get the little grip or whatever at the Dollar Tree and this is just where I keep my straightening irons my curling iron and my hair dryer and my hair extensions so yeah that is that and I think that's going to be about it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Comment below if you have any requests or just comment um, about the video. I love reading the comments. And yeah, I hope y'all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.